Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the Dying Light Anniversary Edition. As you all know, we had two different editions for Dying Light. One is Regular Edition and the other one is Enhanced Edition. The Enhanced Edition has Be The Zombie DLC, Cuisine and Cargo DLC, Ultimate Survival Bundle DLC, The Bozak Ho DLC, Dying Light The Following DLC, Crush This Bundle DLC, and right now we actually have a new edition called Anniversary Edition. This is currently only available for PS4 and Xbox One, and this edition comes with Be The Zombie, Cuisine and Cargo, Ultimate Survival Bundle, The Bozak Hood, 5th Anniversary Bundle, Dying Light the following DLC and finally the Hell Raid DLC. So today we'll see if this anniversary edition is worth it or not. But before that, a word from a sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a very popular turn-based RPG game that has really good graphics and is available on mobile phone and PC. This game has 16 factions such as Dark Elves, Demon Spawn, Night Remnants and more. My favorite faction is Night Revenant as they see themselves as the vessels of the spirit of the dead of their own. And my favorite champion from this faction is Kytus. Like look at this guy with a shield and a sword, who would want to mess with someone like him? This guy is actually an epic champion that has 3 abilities, 1 soul reaper that attacks an enemy with a sword and causes heal reduction for 2 turns. The second ability actually spawns spikes from the ground and does a lot of damage for the next 2 turns. And its final ability is actually a special ability that is not revealed until the champion goes below 50% of his health. The third ability is overpowered as it hits the enemy 2 times and the amount of damage increases depending on the amount of health or champion has lost. So with no doubt, Kytis is my main champion to go. Talking about the game, the devs showed tremendous love to the game. In fact, this month, Raid got their biggest update ever. The main event is already going on. It's called the Doom Tower, and it's basically a giant tower with 120 floors, secret challenge rooms, and 12 badass bosses to take on. And to be honest with you, there has never been a better time to stop playing Raid Shadow Legends. And to help you get started in the tower, the Raid team is actually giving away a super special champion named Bulwark. This champion is awesome in climb bosses, and it's going to help you throughout your journey in Doom Tower. And the best thing? you're getting this champion for free. Also, I've been waiting for this for a long time as I'm trying to level up to play the Doom Tower as I can't wait to dive in. And on top of that, they're actually releasing 14 new champions this holiday as well as they're going to be releasing a lot of holiday events and tournaments. So guys, what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to start playing today. And for everyone who downloads Raid Shadow Legends using my link, you will be getting a huge start in the game. You'll be getting free Void Champion, an XP Booster, 50 Gems, Energy Refills, and Ancient Shard all for free. So guys, what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to start playing playing today and once you're in the game you can click here on top inbox to collect your items as they're only available for 30 days so go on collect it now go ahead and start raiding now let's talk about Dying Light Anniversary Edition. This game gives you access to the base game and with that you also get Dying Light the following DLC which is the continuation of the story of the base game. The following DLC gives you a huge map with a buggy to drive around and explore the map. The story of the DLC is without a doubt awesome and the story engages you more in combat and the ending gives you more choices which can actually result in two different endings. So no doubt you're going to have a lot of fun playing this DLC. Now the next DLC you get in this edition is Be The Zombie DLC. This DLC will let you play as a zombie, a night hunter that protects its nest from the humans and hunts them down. It's basically a PvP mode so you can be a zombie and you can kill humans or you can be a human and kill the nest along with the night hunter. It's a fun PvP mode that also rewards you for winning. You can win gold weapons which is the highest tier in the game. Now the next DLC is Ultimate Survival Bundle. It gives you 4 weapons and 3 outfits. These weapons are like a starter pack for everyone who's starting Dying Light. So definitely cool weapons you gotta try when you actually buy this edition. You get a buzz killer, you get a night club, you get a laser tower and a constable. The outfits you get in this DLC is a ninja outfit, urban explorer outfit and finally the special agent outfit. The next DLC you get is cuisine and cargo. These are two new quarantine zones. One of the quarantine zones is called Holy Ear Tunnel which is an abandoned rail yard filled with zombies. Second is called Three Moon Restaurant, which is a famous restaurant in Haran filled with zombies. And to be honest with you, this place can be a good place for you to loot. The next DLC you get is Bozak Hood. In this DLC, you are invited to Haran Stadium by a deeply troubled psychopath named Bozak. And if you want to leave the place alive, you'll have to face all the hordes of relentless zombies and fight your way through his vicious task. So you gotta do a lot of things in this DLC. You have to accept the invitation, beat Bozak in its own game and become the champion of Haran Stadium. It's a new location, a new game mode that is not for regular players definitely and it really pushes you to the limit and for winning this DLC you'll be getting yourself a Bozak bow that is a really good bow. So you can play this with friends as well. 
I mean, I play with my friends and it's really fun. For people who like challenges, this is a really cool thing. Uh, you can definitely try it solo, but if you don't like challenges, go for a co-op mode. Try with friends. Solo would not be cool for you. By the way, you also get Bozak dockets for completing a lot of missions in this game mode. You can redeem these dockets to get gold weapons in the base game. The next DLC we have is 5th Anniversary Bundle, specially released for the 5th year Dying Light Anniversary. This bundle gives you an outfit, a new buggy paint job called Veterans Ride, and blueprints for 3 new weapons. So you get a double barrel shotgun that reloads really fast and it's really really good and it's easier to craft. It's called Hell Beast. Second weapon is your first. Well, it's called your first and after 3 hits, it does double the damage of the weapon. Third weapon is called Feather. It's technically a hammer but it's called Feather and it has a really good impact when you hit an enemy. And finally, you will be getting yourself an outfit called Haran Veteran. The next DLC is one of the biggest DLC after the following. It's called Dying Light Hell Raid. It's the Hell Raid DLC. So you can access this DLC in game via an arcade machine that's next to the main room of the tower, the main safe house in slums. In this DLC, you can basically enter the hell and fight the demonic enemies. You can see new characters bosses, items, weapons and location. And for anyone who's playing Dying Light for the first time, this DLC is definitely going to be fun. They will love it. But if you have been playing Dying Light for a year or so, then you will get bored with the DLC. And I'm saying that with my personal experience. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not my favorite DLC. For me, it was nothing new. It was just same old slice and dice. All you gotta do is just slice, slice, slice. I love Dying Light because of the parkour and the whole combat mixed with the parkour. So that's something this DLC misses. But it can be appealing to a lot of other people, so you definitely want to try this. Make sure you watch some videos on it, then you'll understand what the DLC is all about. If you really love slicing and dicing, you will love this DLC, and I guarantee that. You can play this game mode with your friends, but it comes with its share of bugs, and some irritating ones as well. Good thing about this DLC, the devs are releasing free updates for this DLC. Means the next chapter was free, and there are more chapters to come, more content to come to this DLC, all for free. And that's pretty much it for the Anniversary Edition. I do also want to mention that Dying Light itself has a lot of free content. So if you just buy Dying Light, you do get a lot of content for free as well. Like 10 in 12 DLC. That gives you actually 11 DLC. It's called 10 DLCs in 12 months, but you got an extra DLC. The first DLC is called Reinforcements. That adds new enemies in the game, a new outfit, new mutated zombie, a new rifle skin that's called Haran Military Rifle. Second DLC, Lethal Inventions. Adds three weapons, three missions to get these weapons, Quiet Aga, Fenris and Last Wish Revolver. All these weapons have special abilities when you use it. Alongside with the DLC, you do also get a free wrench in the game. Third DLC was a gun silencer. A gun with a silencer, it's just really simple DLC. But with that, you also get a really cool buggy paint job. It's called Neon Storm Paint Job. It's one of the best looking paint jobs out there. And it glows in the dark, so something I like. For the DLC was Haran Fighters DLC. Basically adds three new playable characters to the game. Fifth DLC was great. It was called Haran Prison Heist. It's one of my favorite DLCs that was actually available for free. It's like a Bozak horde but more fun. Not too challenging but fun especially with friends. It's a mix of everything and it's my favorite game mode. At the end of the game mode you'll be getting gold weapons free as a reward and not one but actually multiple ones so it's pretty cool. Sixth DLC added a new demolisher, a new enemy to the game, and with the DLC you also get a new outfit. Seventh DLC was Snake in the Grass. This DLC was not my favorite because it only added an ammo blueprint for the silenced gun they released earlier. Eighth DLC was called The Masquerade. It adds four new outfits in the game and honestly, without a doubt, these skins are actually cool. Ninth DLC was called Lost Invention. It adds a new weapon called Zagnel, and this weapon looks good and has special abilities just like the Lethal Inventions. This weapon does twice the damage after it charges, and it looks really great. Tenth DLC was Masquerade in Core, another four outfits, cool outfits added to the game. And finally, the last DLC, the eleventh DLC, is called Badlands Rider. That adds a new outfit, a new crossbow, a new shotgun, a new buggy paint job, and a machete skin. So basically you get all of these for free. The 10 in 12 DLC was completely free. Now the question is, is this edition worth it? I'll say yes, and I'll say no. So let me say, yes, but only for those players who have never played Dying Light before, and you're planning to buy Dying Light for the first time. 
So you can go for the anniversary edition if you have to choose between the enhanced and the anniversary. So yes, first time, definitely go for anniversary edition. By the way, you can also go for enhanced edition if you don't want the Hellray DLC, because the only difference between enhanced and anniversary edition is the fifth anniversary bundle DLC and the Hellray DLC. That's the only difference. The price difference between these two editions is $10, which is the price of Hellraid actually. So that's the only thing added in the anniversary edition. Enhanced edition will cost you $30 or less depending on the country you live in. Anniversary edition will cost you $40 or less. Trust me, $10 is only for Hellraid DLC. So buy only if you're new to the game and are planning to play Dying Light for the first time. Or you're planning to buy this for just collection like me. I like to collect a lot of things, especially when it's Dying Light related. So I bought it just to keep in the showcase. <laughs> also, the game is still logged in 30 FPS. So if you're going to buy it for PS5, well, it's nothing special. It's not going to give you any extra FPS. So it's just going to be 30 FPS. No extra performance or anything. And honestly, I feel like Techland can unlock these and pretty much get 60 FPS or more on PS5. So basically, if they can do that in the anniversary edition, then maybe this will be worth it if you can make this 60 FPS. Anyways, guys, hope this video helps. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Good night and good luck.